Meghan Markle has sought to stand out from Kate, Duchess of Cambridge with her decision not to deliver her first child at the Lindo Wing but despite the apparent snub the sisters-in-law have put rumors of a feud behind them, commentator Victoria Arbiter claimed. Meghan Markle and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge have been dogged by persistent rumors of a feud which seemed to be further fueled after Kensington Palace announced Meghan and Prince Harry would receive their personal household upon moving to Windsor. Royal expert Victoria Arbiter claimed the sisters-in-law put gossip of a break in the royal family behind them but admitted the Duchess of Sussex will seek to stand out from Kate with her decision to snub the Linda Wing at St. Mary's Hospital in London to deliver her first child. M's arbiter suggested Meghan opted to have the royal baby somewhere else to avoid any further comparison with the Duchess of Cambridge. Speaking to Today, the royal commentator said, Meghan and Kate have moved way beyond this suggestion that there is a feud. With royal wives, it is a given that their lives are always going to be compared so anytime they can do something differently to stand alone and not deal with those comparisons, that seems quite sensible to me. While Kensington Palace has released no confirmations, it is believed Meghan Markle will deliver her child closer to her new residence with Prince Harry, Frogmore Cottage, in Windsor. Meghan would be the second royal to deliver at Frimley Park Hospital after Sophie, the Countess of Wessex, who had both her children at the Camberley Hospital. M's arbiter continued, Diana and Kate. They delivered their babies at the Lindo Wing partly because the hospital is a good five-minute or so drive from Kensington Palace where they were living. Meghan is going to be living in Windsor. I don't think any first-time mother wants to have the thought of a 20 or 25-minute drive to the hospital when they're expecting their baby. If she is choosing a hospital closer to Windsor, it's been done so on the advice of her doctors and also because it allows for the facilities, it allows her to follow her particular birth plan. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry are set to welcome their first child sometime in late April, with royal tradition dictating that expecting couples should avoid sharing details about the exact due date. The pair last year announced plans to relocate out of London's Kensington Palace where they had apartments close to Prince William and Kate, and their three children. Kensington Palace also announced in March the Duke and Duchess of Sussex would break away from the household of the eldest twins or brother to receive their personal communication team. In the first move marking the separation from the Cambridges, Meghan and Harry revealed on Tuesday they opened a shared Instagram account to publish updates about their official engagement and to raise awareness about their supported causes. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex already have more than 600,000 followers for their account as Sussex Royal. Meghan previously had an Instagram account, but her social media pages were deleted when she became a member of the royal family. Other royals have been known to post on social media, either to share information about their charity work or share insights into their life. In their first post, the couple said post said, Welcome to our official Instagram. We look forward to sharing the work that drives us, the causes we support, important announcements, and the opportunity to shine a light on key issues. We thank you for your support, and welcome you to As Sussex Royal, Harry and Meghan. He pair first followed Kensington Palace, Clarence House, and the royal family. This was belatedly followed around two hours later by Prince Andrew. Duke of York as well as several charitable organizations supported by the royal family.